Yeah, hello UAE Padra experts. So, so welcome to the UAE Padra Learner channel. So, so thanks for subscribe my channel. And uh, yeah, so we'll see that. Uh, so this exercise. So, so the exercise is like a, so we have a data. So RTA RTO data. So this has the the first column has a sum data like a with a ends with an character. So see it's a K ends with the K. So actually we have to separate these kind of uh, uh, things. So we'll see. Uh, how can we do it okay so there is a p ends with the p ends with the y so these numbers so these are all the different things so you have to separate or remove the, this type of numbers so let us see how can we do it okay so first of all let's go to the ui path studio and uh, and let us uh, try to use the excel application scope excel application scope activity and browse that uh, excel so this is a excel so i'm just uh, taking the copy as a path shift right click if you just press the shift right click it will give the option to copy as a path and uh, here is a, a read range first of all anything if you want to do first read the range so what is the sheet name sheet name is a registration numbers reg numbers okay so this is a reg numbers and here um, we will try to create a reg numbers dt dt okay now so once we get that reg numbers dt is what we have to do that is a that is a question so let us try think what we have to do what we will do so we will just uh, uh, what is the plan uh, first of all one thing is line by line we will go and uh, uh, so so first first we will try so if there is a, a column suppose fm is a string imagine there is a data okay and so we will just try that one first so whether we are able to identify uh, message box let us try to temp data dot substring of uh, starts from the temp data dot length minus 2 so what it will give so we need this last character right so let us see so what is the last character it's not giving the last character it is giving the two characters so we need the only last characters okay one it will be the last character The two, right so if you if you put like a uh, this is a um, h or g so if uh, if we run so it will give the last character g okay the last character so once we get the last character what we have to do so is there any uh, string dot is number is number numeric is numeric is a method so we'll see is numeric bracket open and here whether it will help or not that is a by default default method okay it's a false so it's not numeric okay suppose if i just put the empty that we number only it's a giving the true that mean we we found that so we, if if we uh, we found the last character and after that what we found so if it is a non numeric then Okay, what we can do so is expand and expand this one so one thing what you can oh, there is a different ways to do and uh, filter data table let's try filter oh, it's a project okay let's try with the filters if it's not working so we'll go with another thing okay uh, reg dt uh, it, here is a reg dt reg dt and uh, so just use the reg dt only and what is the what is the thing so the thing is like a this this one okay this one, the whole thing the whole thing of what not temp right that is a row of zero dot two string So this is not working because it requires only the column name I think. Yeah. 
that's what it requires only column name so what we can do we can just go and uh, uh, for each so do the for each first okay the easiest way otherwise uh, so what we can do we can just use a for each the expressions before that sorry we will add the data column that is a flag Okay, so if it is a then what we done? So <coughs> we added the new column. <coughs> this one and we are updating that column we'll update that column is equal to true and false false so what did it mean so if the, the temp temp we already filled here okay the first column or if the first column is a numeric uh, first column has a last character is a numeric uh, then Mm, it is a true numeric true otherwise it is a false okay uh, what we can do after this for each after this for each we can just simply filter uh, the numeric data control k numeric number number data uh, and uh, so this is like a <coughs> column name is uh, what is the column name here Bool number, right? <clears throat> bool number is equal to true, right? Is equal to true numer data, number data, and remove that value itself. Okay. So let us try to uh, write range. So are we inside the Excel application scope? Yes. We'll write the range and uh, add the headers. Number data and number data table. Okay, let us try to run. We'll see. So two right range has uh, the range does not exist. The range does not exist. What happened? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why it is a range does not exist? Just try to display how many rows are there. Box. Two and twenty-three rows are there, but the range does not exist. So let us. So uh, this is an Excel application scope only, and uh, let us remove this Excel. Run. True. Yeah, it's, it's doing okay. Maybe the Excel is open. Okay, let's try to open. So don't open the Excel. So, so okay, here is a number data. So the number data has all the values are done ends with the numbers only, right? See. So actual reg expressions this is a k 
n set the k, n set the u. So these things are all not came here, okay, not came here. If you want that kind of data also, you can do. So here, so the same filter, same filter, copy paste and uh, not numbers. Not numbers and is not equal to is not equal to true okay so this is a not number so you can just uh, display another one is not numbers not numbers and uh, try to display the not numbers only okay and uh, re remove the message boxes remove the message box here also so let us go and delete the that sheet so so that it will create a separate fresh sheet okay the save close run okay let's open again we have a number sheet number non non number sheet has a uh, all the values which is ends with the uh, alphabets number sheet has a uh, all the uh, data which is uh, not ends with the uh, uh, alphabets okay so that is a so this is a code so so the sheet and add the new temporary variable column and uh, so update that column based on the and and, and adds okay so basically this is a is num numeric that is one uh, method it is a common method okay so you can use ready to do anything okay thanks for subscribe so please subscribe like share okay so comment and support me thank you very much bye bye